on Wednesday, Apple released third developer beta of iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. By the time you are watching this, public beta should be out as well. In this video, we will go over all the new features and changes in the third beta. So let me take. Hello everyone, I'm your host Sufyan and welcome to Let Me Tech. We will kick things off with iOS and iPadOS 14 followed by macOS. For your convenience, timestamps are provided in the description below. You will also find links of our social media in the description below. Don't forget to follow us there. We also have a giveaway going on. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned till the end of this video. Meanwhile, let's get started with iOS 14. If you are running the first or second beta of iOS 14, you will see that a lot of your storage is being used. If you scroll down, you will see a lot of your storage is being covered by other storage. This was a bug in iOS 14 beta 1 and beta 2 and with beta 3, this is at least partially resolved. This is a very serious bug because I have this iPad mini 4 with 16 gigs of storage and after installing iOS 14 beta 1, I cannot even update to iOS 14 beta 2 or even beta 3 because the storage is full. This is a perfect example of why you should be very cautious when installing beta software. Music app icon got a nostalgic redesign and is now a red icon just like iOS 7. Not only that, the music widget also got updated and now has the same color. This can be a bit annoying because even with dark mode, it stays red. If you open music app, you will find some changes in here as well. If you open the library section, you will see that all headings now have icons along with them. The text color is also white or black depending on the status of your dark mode. Previously, this text color was red in both light and dark mode. Lastly, for music app, you can now also share your Apple Music to Snapchat story just like Instagram. Widgets also got some important updates. We have already discussed the music widget. One of the other widgets which Apple showcased and was not released in Beta 1 or Beta 2 is now finally here in Beta 3, which is the clock widget. You have three variants with small size that has four clocks, a medium size with four clocks and more detail, and finally a small single clock. Another change in widgets is the extra large size for smart stack widget. I love using the smart stack widget and I think it deserves a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notifications of the upcoming content. iOS 14 beta 3 brings a bad news. 3D touch is disabled for all the devices that support it. As of now, Apple has not given any reason why it was done. But even if you have a 3D touch capable device, you are stuck with haptic touch. The good news is that Apple has made older devices even more capable. You finally have the ability to change display zoom on smaller notch devices such as iPhone 10. Previously, it was only available on larger devices. Backtap feature which arrived with iOS 14 for all the devices with a notch has made its way to iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. This is one of the most surprising and talk feature of iOS 14. We will be covering this feature in detail in our upcoming video. Make sure you're subscribed for that. Open in Maps button is added at the end of your weather app screen. If you scroll down in your weather app, at the end you will see where the data is being pulled from. And along with that, you will see an open in map button where you can open that particular location in Apple map. Finally, jiggle mode is now official. Apple added a couple of new splash screens and one of them mentioned jiggle mode. Let's go through all these new splash screens. First splash is when you open app library. The second is when you tap and hold on your home screen and the jiggle mode one is when you swipe all the way left to your widgets page. Here you will also find all your older widgets at the bottom. That is all for iOS 14 beta 3. Do leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed any of the new features. If you disliked something, don't forget to mention that in the comments below. Now let's talk about all the new features and changes in macOS Big Sur beta 3. By the way, we made a video about 5 big changes in macOS Big Sur. If you want to check that out, you can find it in the cards above or also in the description below. First of all, the battery icon in the battery section of system preferences is updated. The new icon is way way better than the original one which was really really bad. macOS Big Sur brought the time remaining section back from the dead. In macOS Big Sur Beta 3, it is again gone. This might be due to a bug, we will know for sure in the future betas. Don't forget to drop a like if you want this. The music app icon also got updated in macOS Big Sur Beta 3 and now matches iOS 14 Beta 3 app icon. If you open the new music app and have a look at the new play button, you will see that Apple has got it all wrong. This definitely is a bug and should be updating in the next build. That is all for macOS Big Sur Beta 3. Now, finally, let's talk about the giveaway. 
Graphic Design Studio is an amazing Android app and it recently sponsored our Samsung Note 20 video which you can find linked in the cards above and will also be available in the description below. I highly recommend this app for all the new YouTubers out there. With this app, you can quickly create your YouTube video thumbnail and your Instagram post and so much more. We have 100 discount coupons for this app pinned on our Facebook page. The link for that will be available in the description below. Along with that, we will select three people who will get this fully loaded app for free. The announcement will be made on August 14. All you need to do to enter is follow us on our social media and also follow Graphic Design Studio. All the required links are available in the description below. Good luck for the giveaway and that is all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, do leave a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you in the next one. Over and out.